Welcome to another episode of the Boatyard Boys. I'm Patrick, the Gig Harbor Marine and Boatyard Yard Manager, and this is... Family the Comedian. Today we have a guest speaker, Mike Donnellan, ABYC Master Technician, to teach us about the new NEC 555 code coming out January 1st of 2026. He's going to explain to us why we have to check these boats for what they're doing. Okay, so this is an alternating current leakage clamp and what we're going to do is we're going to test all of the shore power cords for the boats in the marina looking for increased current coming back to the ground line over 30 milliamps. Um, and the reason for that is because any current coming back over the ground line could ultimately end up in the water and we're trying to eliminate the possibility of electroshock drowning for people that may be in the water and come into contact with that current. So. The way that the alternating current system is designed to work is that the power coming from the pedestal passes through the black or the hot wire going into the boat into the distribution panel. After it goes through the loads, it comes back through the white or neutral wire, returning to the pedestal and ultimately back to where it came from. If for some reason there's a grounding issue in the boat, some of that current can come back through the green wire or the ground which is common to all the pedestals on the same transformer in the marina and that's what we're looking to prevent. So this thing is looking for anything over 30 milliamps coming back on that ground line and the new code requires that each of the pedestals ultimately have an ELCI which is much like the GFCI you may have in your home. And if it finds more than 30 milliamps, it's going to trip and cut off power to your boat. And that's the problem that a lot of boaters are having, is they're, they're tripping the pedestals at different marinas that have upgraded to the new code. So basically, we turn this on. It's a very sensitive clamp. And put it around the shore power cord. And we're looking to see what the returning current is to the ground. And in this particular case, we're at 33.25, roughly. So that's going to exceed the threshold for the ELCI, and it would ultimately cause it to trip. That's where I come, we come back in. We notify each customer that their boats are over, and we got to figure out what's wrong with it. They can either do it here at our boatyard or go somewhere else and have it done. But either way, I have to enforce this from the state to protect this little guy. You can learn a lot with the boat. 